Hi Year 6s, our future Year 7s. I'm Mr Easton and I want to welcome you uh, into the school, into Penwith and Priory Academy. So on your first day, this is where you'll arrive. You'll come to the school ga gates here at the front of school and I'll show you where you're going to go. So you'll come through the school gates, you'll walk down this path and then you'll come through our pedestrian entrance here. And then the first place we'd like you to head when you arrive on your first day is just through these double doors and that will take you through to our assembly hall where we'll be here to sit you down and to, and to have a chat with you. So you'll come through these doors, you'll come into here, we'll have the chairs laid out for you, the members of staff will be in here to, have, to tell you where to sit and then we'll be able to speak to you as our new Year 7s. And we're very, very much looking forward to meeting you all when you first come. Welcome to Priory. Okay, well, we've just come through reception uh, and this is the main corridor for the senior leaders in school. So this is where you'll find my office, my deputy head teacher's office, and our assistant head teachers, etc. Hi, I'm Mrs. Cowell, the deputy head teacher at Penworth and Priory Academy. This is my office, which is right next door to Mr. Easton's on the senior leadership corridor. When I'm not here, You'll find me in the food preparation room over in the technology block because I'm a GCSE food teacher as well. We're all really looking forward to meeting you at some point in the very near future and we hope you stay safe and well. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. Hi Year 7, my name is Mr G, one of the assistant head teachers. You can find me on the senior leadership corridor in my office or alternatively I also teach PE and you'll find me down in the P office. Look forward to seeing you all in September. My name is Mrs Crank and I'm one of the assistant heads here at Penwith and Priory Academy. I look forward to welcoming you all in September and until then please keep safe and well. Uh, towards the bottom here, uh, through the window, there is a staff room. So if you're ever in school and you need to find a member of staff at breaks and lunch times for example, then some of the staff will be down in that staff room there. But this is where you'll find all the assistant head teachers and the deputy heads. As we walk around the school, there's lots of things on the walls, lots of pictures, because you just get a little snapshot today of, uh, of what it's like to be uh, at Priory. But all the things on the wall give you an idea of what it's like to be a pupil at Priory right throughout the year. But the best way to actually uh, get a feel of that is to follow us on our Facebook site, look at our newsletters and look at the website and keep up to date. That'll give you a real flavour of everything that goes on uh, in the school. Okay, let's carry on. So we've just come down a corridor here which is a couple of English classrooms. This is just one of our English classrooms and actually several years ago uh, this used to be a food uh, technology room so this used to have lots of uh, cookers and equipment like that in but we've we've had a brand new um, technology department built and I'll take you there in a little while so this is now an English room and this is typical of the size of the rooms that we have at Priory so we don't believe in very small classrooms that restrict what the pupils and the teachers can do we believe in having quite large learning spaces so the room doesn't dictate to the teacher how they can actually deliver a lesson so we have to see pupils up and about and moving around the classroom freely and that's really important to us okay we're going to head out the door and head uh, down into a very important corridor okay and this is our this is a really important corridor for us this is our pastoral corridor um, and it's at the heart of the school and a few years ago we designed this corridor because we wanted uh, to have as many adults in the school available to pupils as possible so this is really, really important. So in this room here, um, we have all pastoral managers and the special educational needs coordinator. Hi, I'm Sarah Clementson, one of the pastoral managers here at Priory. I'm based in the pastoral office and part of my job is to make sure that everybody is safe and happy. Hi, I'm Mrs Holland. I'm the Senko here at Priory. I'm based in the pastoral office and my job is to make sure that anybody with additional needs is well looked after. Looking forward to seeing you. Further down the corridor, uh, we've got uh, Mrs Hopes who has an office here and she heads up all our um, uh, character and culture learning. 
uh, and all our pastoral care in terms of lessons, etc. And further down the corridor still, we've got our learning support department. So this corridor is really designed to be a one-stop shop for the pupils. If you as a pupil need an adult, this is the corridor to come to and it's designed so that at any point in the day, there will always be somebody that you can find and somebody that you can ask a question of. We've four houses at Priory. We've got Ribble, Calder, Douglas and Hodder. So when you come to Priory, you'll be put into one of those houses. And those are really important. You have a head of year and we call them an academic head of year. So they'll track and monitor your progress right across the academic subjects and see how you're doing. But equally, we have houses and that's where you join a house and you get involved with lots of inter-house activities, sports day and all that sort of stuff. So we have the academic side of things, but equally have that pastoral element as well with the houses. So that's, that's really important to us. Hi, I'm Mrs Ham, Head of Year 7. You'll find me in the pastoral office or teaching in humanities. Hi, I'm Mrs Bailey. I'm a French teacher and a Head of Year here at Priory. You'll either find me on the pastoral corridor or on the MFL corridor. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all in September. Hello, my name is Mrs Bullock and I'm the Transition Manager and PE teacher here at Penwith and Priory Academy. Um, my office is located just on the pastoral corridor. Hi there, my name is Mr Faulkner and I'm Head of Ribble House, the best house in school. Next year I'm also going to be Head of Year 10. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. If you need to find me when you're in school, I'll either be in my house office on the pastoral corridor or up the stairs of the pastoral corridor and my classroom is right on the end. That's where I'll also be, so I'll see you then. Hi, I'm Mrs Easton. I'm Head of Calder House and I'm going to be Head of Year 11 next year. You'll be able to find me in my office on the pastoral corridor or in the science department. Look forward to meeting you all soon. We'll head down this corridor towards learning support. Okay, this is one of our learning support department rooms. Uh, it's a nice small room. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes on here, maybe one-to-one -one with a, a member of staff and pupils or small group work. And it can be used for a variety of different uh, reasons. So um, it might be that certain pupils have uh, timetable sessions down here in learning support because they might need some extra support with literacy or numeracy. But equally, if somebody's been off for a period of time, somebody's been ill, we wouldn't just expect them to come straight back in on Monday morning and carry on where they left off and go to their normal timetables. They might need some extra support in the learning support department to catch up on some of the work that they've missed, etc. Okay. Members of staff can also refer pupils down here. So in maths, for example, if you're struggling with a particular concept, uh, they might say, well, I tell you what, go down to the learning support department, work one-to-one -one on a small group with the, with the specialist staff that are there to help you with that, to help you understand it before you then are expected to continue uh, with your normal learning. So it's used for a variety of reasons. And, and, and we've got doors out that go out to our beautiful learning spaces as well. We've got fantastic outdoor learning spaces at Priory as well. And when the weather's nice, these doors can be opened and the learning support department can use some of our Priory gardens that we've got. Uh, in the area as well. Okay. So this is one of our English classrooms. Uh, you can see the size of the classroom actually, you get a really good feeling for the size of the classroom and again it goes back to what I said about our learning spaces. We believe in having large learning spaces where the space doesn't dictate what the teacher can do. So sometimes when I come in here as the head teacher, it might be, for example, there's an English lesson going on. They might be studying Shakespeare, but rather than just reading the Shakespeare play and being sat in rows and not being able to move, they might be up, they might be stood at the back here, and they might be acting out that play as well. So there's a whole variety of ways that the rooms can actually allow the, pu uh, the, the pupils and the staff uh, to, to manage their lessons. If you look out of the window over here to, to one side, you see we've got a massive yard outside and that's got basketball courts and things like that. Um, and, and that's fairly well used at breaks and lunch times, but we have an open school policy at Priory, which means the school is your school as pupils. And it means at breaks and lunch times, you are allowed in the school in certain areas. So we don't expect everybody to be kicked outside onto the yard. OK, uh, you can access facilities, you can go and do work, you can go to the library, etc. So we have an open school policy, provided you look after the site and take care of the site. And we all do that together. Then, then that, that, main, that, that is maintained. Um, so an open school policy for us is really, really important. You'll see in, in, a, in a while as we walk around, we've got other fantastic spaces that you're able to access as and when you want as a pupil, if you want to practice your football, your badminton, or go into sports or whatever it might be, okay? 
So we're now on the English corridor. Um, so there's lots of English classrooms that run off this corridor here, and I'll take you into one or two in a moment. You'll notice there are lockers all the way around the school as we go around, and every pupil at Priory has their own locker, and we, we, we make sure you've got a locker that's fairly close to your form room. So in the morning, you can drop your equipment off, you can get your equipment that you need for the morning, for example, you can go to your morning lessons, and then you can come back later on in the afternoon for afternoon prep and pick up your equipment uh, for afternoon. Uh, as well so you'll have a locker to be able to put your coats and your bags and your equipment and equally therefore you've always got equipment in your locker that you're going to need for learning for the next day you don't constantly need to be taking things home okay welcome to the library it's quite a small library actually for primary but the vast majority of our pupils uh, have their own ipad so a lot of pupils these days at primary have um, their books etc on their ipads um, uh, so, but we still have a library. This is open at breaks and lunch times. Um, it's an extensive area, and you'll notice it's actually part of one of our English classrooms. So we decided a couple of years ago to bring the library into the heart of English, so it can be used in lessons, but equally then at breaks and lunch times, people are coming to English and pupils are coming to English to use the library and access the library. It's quite a lively place at breaks and lunch times. We don't expect pupils to come in here and be totally silent. We want pupils to come and actually use the facility. So at breaks and lunch times, we've got pupils reading. We might have pupils sat through this area. I'll take you through here in a minute. We've got computer access and things for you to be able to do your extension work, your homework, etc. And you can come here and socialise as well. So we have people playing chess or reading the newspaper, reading magazines and things like that. We'll just take a, a look through. So you can see this is an extension of the library, so we've got different seated areas where you can sit, you can socialise with, 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 your, um, with your friends, and we've also got computer access at this side as well. So a lot of pupils will come uh, at breaks and at lunch times and they might do some work that they, well homework, we don't really call homework homework at Priory, we call it extension work. And as far as we're concerned, as long as that work is done by the set date, it's up to you when you want to do it and when you choose to do it. So by having an open school, if you get some homework at period one and two before break, if you want to come to the library or even go to a department and sit down and do that extension work that you've been set, uh, you're, you're welcome to do that. You're doing it in your own time, it doesn't necessarily have to be done at home all the time, okay? So you can see again that this is English and the library is right in the heart of English. Just before we head up across to science, we'll just take a trip upstairs because our maths department occupies the whole upstairs of, of the uh, upstairs floor of Priory. So what I'm going to show you is one of the classrooms, and if you can imagine it extending right across the school, uh, you'll see other classrooms and be similar to the one that I'm going to show you. So maths you find right on the top floor here at Priory. So again, this is just one of our classrooms in maths. So it's typical of the size of the classroom, similar to English, nice big learning space. And as you go down the school on the top floor that way, there's another classroom, another classroom beyond, another classroom the size of this one, uh, this side. And then at the top up here, we have other large learning spaces for maths as well. We're going to head down to science. So this is our science department uh, and just a few years ago we had this all completely refurbished uh, and you can see the sort of facilities that we've got. We've got a lovely uh, open learning space right in the heart of science here. Okay. Again, uh, when I say that we've got an open school policy, every single department has their own area where pupils can come up at breaks and lunch times and work specifically in their own time on that department's work. So when we go to humanities, you'll see there's a, a working area for the pupils there. This, this becomes a working area for pupils before, after, and at breaks and lunch times um, for them to be able to do their work as well. But this is an open space and this is used as an open learning classroom as well during the day. At this side, we've got a state-of-the-art, what we call a wet lab. Um, and then at this side, we've got a state-of-the-art dry lab as well. And the only difference between a wet lab and a dry lab is that a wet lab includes taps and sinks and things, whereas the dry lab is just gas and electricity. So we've got state-of-the-art facilities 
here and this real flexible learning space in the middle of science. This is the science prep room. There's a window so you can see in. We think that's really important because we have our science technician that works in there on a daily basis. That's his full-time job. And we think it's important that pupils are able to see the sort of roles and responsibilities that all the staff have in school because it might be that they're inspired to be a technician themselves in terms of their own work when they leave Priory at some point. So we want people to be able to see what goes on in terms of what other people's roles and the adults' roles are in school. At this side of science, uh, it's slightly more traditional. We have the more traditional science benches, all facing the front, etc. But again, all that has been refurbished over the last few years as well. Okay, so we've got a fantastic, vibrant science department here. And we're going to cut, cut through one of the classrooms now, and we're going to go and have a look at technology. So I mentioned before about having some fantastic outdoor learning spaces as well. It's not just the fantastic learning spaces that we've got inside the building at Priory. We've got fabulous outdoor learning spaces as well. So we've got the yard that I pointed out a moment ago. We've got our AstroTurf, that's a 3G AstroTurf. And again, you are allowed on there at breaks and lunch times. But you're not allowed to eat or drink on there, but provided you go on and you put your trainers on, you're allowed to go on there at breaks and lunch times and, and play there as an extension to the yard as well. You'll see these areas that we've got here with seats and things. So when the weather is nice, we have a lot of our pupils that will just sit on the grass, on the, uh, on the benches, uh, and they'll spend their, their leisure time just relaxing with, with friends, etc. Okay, let's head into technology. So this is our technology department. Um, it was built a few years ago, and really this was the blueprint for the rest of school. So you'll notice in here, we don't have any big corridors. It's a very open space and open plan uh, environment. You're able to see into every classroom, people are able to see out of every classroom. And this was the blueprint for the rest of school. So as, as we've developed the rest of school, that's what this is what we base the development of the rest of school on. So we've art here in this area, okay? And we have several classrooms, uh, around the outside, all based around design technology, food technology, etc. And then with this central area in the middle, and the idea is a little bit like if you were to leave Priory and go on to work at British Aerospace or something, uh, the way that the technology department work is you might be set a project and you work through the building as you, as you see fit and as you need. So we might have some pupils from art that are in the classroom, but equally from the same classroom might have some working in this middle area because they're doing some design work on the computers, for example. And they're able to, to be set a project. It might be they get three weeks to do that project. These are the facilities that you have. You've got your teacher, you've got your, pu your, your fellow pupils, etc., to work with, um, and you work through those pro that project at your own pace using the facilities uh, that you've got. So we'll just have a little quick look uh, at, the, at the facilities that we've got. So this is our food technology room. Okay. We've got uh, design technology and we've got big folding doors there which open up to the next classroom so we can have one huge big learning space uh, if, if we so wish and again another design technology room um, if i just mention in here you get a flavor of just what the facilities are like for pupils of priory so in this one room itself not only you've got the area to work in in the center the classroom itself has computers so you can do your design work and also we've got state-of-the-art printer at the back, so a laser cutter at the back, sorry. Uh, so everything can be done by, by, uh, by the pupils in just this one room, okay? We've got another room uh, just, just off the side here, which has all the laser cutters in as well, so another suite of laser cutters. And we, we actively encourage the pupils to get involved in actually operating those machines as well, from a safety point of view, obviously. Uh, but we feel it's important that the, that, that the pupils have the opportunity to get into the design right through to the production rather than designing something and then sending off some, uh, something to a technician who then sort of uh, operates those machines for them. So under supervision, the pupils will be in the, the laser cutter room and will be actually uh, operating those machines as well. But we're going to have a quick look at those now. OK. 
Okay, so again, this is another design technology room, slightly more traditional in, in the way that it looks. And this, this is the room where the laser cutters are, uh, where everything's cut out from MDF, etc. And again, this is the room I talked about uh, where the pupils are actually operating. So on a normal, typical working day at Priory, when there's lots of learning going on, this room's a real uh, buzz of, uh, and hive of activity because all these machines are running and pupils are sending the work from the, from the computers into here uh, to, be, to be cut out um, uh, on the laser cutters. So it's a, a real hive uh, of activity. Okay. I'll just give you a flavour again of some of the outdoor facilities that we've got at the school. So I've mentioned the, the yard, I've the AstroTurf, but we've got extensive fields as well and wooded areas at Priory. Um, so we're very proud to say that a PE lesson at Priory is, well, I can't remember the last time a PE lesson might be cancelled and you'd have to go inside because we've got an AstroTurf you can use, we've got a gym, uh, we've got a, a multi-use games area outside at the top end of school, which I'll show you in a bit. We have fields that extend right across at the back of technology that you can see into the distance there. A huge expanse of field at the back of school as well. The woods are ours, so if you want to do orienteering and cross country and things like that, we'll use the woods as well for all of that. But we're very secure, all the site is fenced in, so we're very, very secure uh, during the day. But you can see some of the wonderful facilities that we've got outside. And very often people see the front of the school and you drive through a, a housing estate to get to the front of the school. And unless they actually visit the school, they very rarely get the opportunity to see that we're quite a rural site, uh, quite scenic in particular at the back. We're not surrounded by houses, for example. So we've got some fantastic, like I say, outdoor learning spaces as well. Okay, let's head to humanities. So this is my favourite part of the school. This is right in the heart of the school. Um, and it's, our, it's what we call our Priory Garden. So we have a gardener, Chris, and he's responsible for making the site look as beautiful as it does. And we've, we've won many awards for, for our school site and our, our gardens. Um, so if you can imagine in the summer, in particular, the pupils will use this space, they'll put picnic blankets out, etc., and they'll be able to sit and have the sandwiches and have the lunch. It's a real tranquil space right in the heart of the school. And it's really, really important, particularly for our new pupils that come, because every single building goes from this central area. So I always say to anybody that's new to the school, um, if you're ever worried about getting lost at Priory, all you need to do is find your way to this central space. And if you've got science next, you know that science is there. It says it on the wall. It's got humanities. You know that maths and art are in that direction, for example, and so on. So uh, this is a really lovely uh, space for the pupils. And again, staff will use this as an outdoor learning space uh, as well. And we'll just head into humanities. Okay, so welcome to our humanities department. So this department houses our history, geography, and RE uh, departments and our classes. Uh, you'll see there's lots of bright stuff on the wall. We've got history towards the top end here, we've got geography, and we've got RE uh, at this end as well. Just behind this wall and through this door is again another learn independent learning space for our pupils. So I've mentioned before about if you've got some work that you want to do or you want to actually see some staff, then you might come here at breaks and lunchtime. You've got an area for humanities where you can sit and do your humanities work. And that's the case for every department. Every department has an area where the pupils can go and independently work, provided you're doing work for that particular department. That's really, really important. One thing to mention, right at the start of the tour, I mentioned the staff room that we have. But actually, all the departments have their own staff area and their own offices within their own departments. And we actually feel that's really important because you as pupils know where the staff are, even if it's a break or a lunchtime before school, after school. So if you want to see one of our humanity staff, for example, you know you can come at breaks and lunch times, and generally that's where the staff will be and will be here to help you and be happy to help you, even though they're not actually maybe teaching you at that particular moment in time. So you can go to whatever department you want to do some independent work, work in your own time, and equally you'll be able to find 
uh, the members of staff in that department as well in their area, rather than hopefully catching them down in the staff room, because that's a bit hit and miss at times. Okay, we're going to head now to drama. So we're about to head into our auditorio, which is our drama room, um, and then a little bit further down we'll, we'll walk past uh, our languages department and equally uh, our music department as well. Okay, so this is our auditorio. Um, so this is our main drama space. So drama has its theory classroom just through the glass wall there. And then for any performance or acting lessons, then they'll use this space. And you can see the curtains around the side and all these curtains draw around and really give a real intimate theater atmosphere. Uh, there's lighting on the wall here and the pupils can control the lighting from their iPad. So you could be in a drama lesson, you could be in a group of four or six or whatever, a couple of you could be acting, one of you could be operating the lighting, and equally one of you could be operating the sound uh, from our recording studio that's just in the middle uh, here. Um, so we're a really fantastic facility in terms of drama. We've a, a bigger space, uh, the assembly hall, which I'll show you in a bit, which is where we'll put on big performances. But in terms of lessons and for, in, uh, for smaller productions and performances with a, with a smaller audience, then we'll use this very intimate uh, drama space as well. Um, okay, and off here, we have a couple of classrooms as well. Again, a couple of humanities classrooms uh, that are used, um, and you can get a flavour of the size of the typical size of classrooms uh, that we have. So again, another, another nice learning space here. There's a staff room just off the side there, another classroom through the other side of the staff room. So again, if you're talking about drama or some of the uh, humanities staff, you know where you'll be able to find them if you, if you need to, okay? Right. We'll just pause and have a look. You can have a look in the recording studio. So we've got pupils that take uh, music lessons, for example. We've got pupils that are have their own bands or their own groups etc and again this is a space that they can come and use in their own time provided they look after it um, uh, just another facility that they can use to actually to practice um, we're a great believer here is in, in not restricting pupils from doing what they want to do in their own time so if they want to do some work they can do if they want to go to a department they can do if they want to practice the music they can do, you know, really, really important. If they want to do some sport or some physical activity, they can do, why not? That's only gonna help them and improve, help them improve as they, as they move forward, okay. Okay, we're now in our languages department. Uh, so this is typical of one of the classrooms that we've got here at Languages. Um, you can see it looks out over the field at the back, our extensive field, so it's a lovely classroom uh, to learn in. Uh, and we do French in the main here. We've done, we've done French and Spanish in the past. Currently, um, we're just doing French uh, because though that's the staff that we've got, the specialist staff that we've got. But equally, we plan to reintroduce some Spanish again uh, in the future. But this is our languages department. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to head down a corridor um, and connected to this corridor is actually the leisure centre, the Penwitham Leisure Centre, which you might be aware of. We're completely separate buildings, but equally there are times where pupils are able to use the leisure centre facilities and just next door as part of their PE lessons with the members of staff. So not only we've we got fantastic sporting facilities ourselves, we've equally right on our doorstep got the opportunity to use some great facilities in terms of uh, fitness suites, gyms and uh, the pool, for example, as well. Okay, but we'll head down uh, this corridor. just actually stop here we'll pause and go into music um, so this is our music room and this is a real hive of activity actually at breaks and lunch times because again Mr Taylor our music teacher is quite happy for pupils to come in here and practice the music and go on the keyboards and things like that and we've got pupils that can play uh, wonderful music on the on the pianos etc but again this is our music room and this is where the pupils can come not only for the lessons, but as well to practice their music in their own time as well. Before we go outside and visit our IT department, um, we'll just have a quick peek in the sports hall so you get an idea of some of the indoor sporting facilities that we have. This is 
So this is our sports hall. There's a door just through there and that leads into our assembly hall. I'll show you that in a moment. So the two are connected so we can have uh, more than one activity going on at one time if, if we so need. It's a brilliantly big sports hall. It's got four badminton courts. It's got two basketball courts running uh, from side to side. And it's got a, a, a big basketball court uh, in the middle as well. So uh, we use it for a lot of different activities as you can imagine. We don't believe here in PE in only, for, in only doing a few sports and activities. We believe that pupils should get a wide range in experience of lots of different sports and activities. So yes, you will do cross country, you'll do athletics, you'll do football, you'll do rugby, you'll do all the traditional sports that you do, but equally the, the, the staff here at Priory in the PE department will, will let you do things like uh, trampolining is very, very big here. We do a lot of trampolining, um, table tennis, and all those sorts of things as well, football, and a variety of lots of other different sports as well. So, you know, it's not it's not just about if you're a footballer, that's what you're going to do, or if you're a cricketer, that's all you're going to do. You'll do everything, and you'll have a sample of doing everything. And then the P department, if you show a particular talent in a sport, they'll then sign post and direct you to local clubs and teams, etc., that you might be able to join to continue that on further. But this is our sports hall. Okay. our ICT department. It's, it's pretty brand new. Uh, it's a fabulous facility. Uh, I'll take you around in a second but in, a, in effect we have two main IT classrooms upstairs and they are very large classrooms as you'll see. Again the idea that the teacher up there can do a traditional lesson on the tables in the centre but then all the pupils have got computer access as well. So we've two large IT suites upstairs, we've a smaller IT suite downstairs and then an open learning space as well, a flexible learning space we call that. So the staff, the pupils can use that as they see fit depending on what sort of lesson they might want to do. Okay, so there's no tables and chairs as such in there, but it's a bit more, it's a bit more flexible in terms of space that can be used. And I, when I come back out of here, I'll take you through, we've just looked at the sports hall, I'll take you through and we can have a look at the gym as well, because this section of the school is IT, and we've got all the PE, PE department here as one of the changing facilities as well for PE. But we'll have a look in IT first. So as I mentioned a moment ago, this is, this is the flexible learning space. It's got tables and chairs in here at the minute actually because we were doing some exams uh, just before. Um, so again, if you can imagine the table chip and chairs away from this, we've got an interactive whiteboard at the front. This is an, an area that we can do, even, even PE can come across and do a little bit of dance and things like that. But again, it can be used from anybody in the school um, as a slightly more flexible uh, learning space. It connects to the gym as well and it's covered. So we've got doors at the end. So school uh, can be connected, the IT department can be connected with the rest of the school as well, which is really important. Uh, if you just look through the window here, I'll show you the two main classrooms upstairs, but you get an idea of the, uh, the IT facilities that we've got here, okay? And then we'll head upstairs to the two main classrooms. So as I mentioned downstairs, we've got the one classroom downstairs and the flexible learning space downstairs and upstairs we have two large IT classrooms as well and we'll take you into one now. So we've got this, this classroom upstairs and equally just next door we've got exactly the same classroom in terms of size and space next door as well. So again you get a feeling of the size of the classroom. The room again doesn't restrict what the, the teacher can do, what the pupils can do, so they can work independently on computers on the outside of the room and then come together in the middle to use the learning space as a normal classroom as they might do uh, for some more theory based work as well. Okay, so that is our IT department. We're going to head downstairs now outside and we'll go and have a look at the, the gym.
So just through this door is our mother, our multi-use games area. Um, and that's really important, particularly if you're a new pupil to the school, year seven, because that's the area that you will uh, be able to go to at breaks and lunch times, and that's just exclusively for you as a year group to you. So you have your own space, at breaks and lunch times to go and meet your friends um, and, and play football or whatever, or, or socialise, uh, as well as the hex area as well. So this, this whole area of school is just there for year seven when you first start with us. So that's okay, so as we leave the P area and the IT area, we're nearly at the end of our tour now. We're just going to come to the one of the most important places that people always tell me, the dining room, and I can talk to you about that, and then we're, we're nearly back at reception again, so we'll head down this corridor. Just before we go into the dining room, you'll see just off the dining room we've got the assembly hall. That's the door that I've pointed out when we're in the sports hall, which links directly to the sports hall, and this is our assembly hall. So this is where we'll do, as I mentioned before when we were in drama, all our big drama productions with an audience. This is where you will have uh, house assemblies or year group assemblies for example and equally there's mirrors on the back we do dance lessons and peer activities in here as well so this is your traditional assembly hall for lots of, of very uh, various activities and big events just next door then is the dining room our dining room in primary. It's not a huge dining room actually when you look at it, um, but at breaks and lunch times we do allow people to eat in other areas of the room. So we have fold out tables uh, that, that, that we fold out at breaks and lunch times. The assembly hall is used, we fold out tables where you can go and sit and eat your dinner equally. Uh, the auditorium is another area where you can go as well. So actually at breaks and lunch times this is quite a calm environment. This is where you come and get your food. We run a cashless system so it's all on a, a, a fingerprint system. Um, so you've no need to be worried about carrying money around with you or bringing money in every single day. It's all on a, on a cashless uh, system. Um, and we don't expect pupils to come in and gobble down the food and be kicked out very, very quickly. We want people, uh, pupils to be able to sit and socialise with their friends. Again, going back to that open school policy, the dining room is somewhere you can sit and have a meal with your friends and sit and stay if you so wish. Okay. Uh, so like I say, we're nearly now at the end of our tour. We're going to head up the, the corridor. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute because there's various things on the wall as well and then we'll be back at reception where we started. So just as we walk up here back to reception you'll notice on the wall we have lots of framed uh, shirts and, and things like that so uh, we call everything that's on the wall in this area our wall of inspiration. It's not a wall of fame but it's a wall of inspiration. And what we do is we keep in touch with some of our past pupils and we, we, we uh, find out what they've gone on to do in their life beyond Priory. I'm just to pause to you because this is Tom Wooden. Tom is somebody that I used to teach. And you'll see that Tom now is a pilot. And the reason Tom's up there on our wall of inspiration is that he became the youngest qualified pilot in the country, actually, when he qualified to be a pilot. And he was a pupil at Priory. So we, we have lots of examples at the school of what our, our pupils that have come to us have gone on to do, whether that's sporting achievements, whether that's success in their own personal careers or, or lives, etc. So there's lots of things for you to look at on the wall to inspire every single one of our pupils every single day. So here we are back at where we started, back at reception. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the tour um, and we very much look forward to welcoming uh, you when you either come to school or you'll visit us again. Thanks very much.